In this little tutorial, what we're going to look at doing is adding a new article to the latest section on the website. So it's really kind of like a blog type thing, or but we're going to just be calling it latest. That's what it's titled there. So let's just look at how we add an article. We'll just go to the section anyway, just to have a review of it. We click on there, we can see that there's a nice big feature image. And then there's the other articles underneath as well. So you can actually either click on here or click on one of the feature images, which takes you through to the full article. Once again, that feature image gets displayed at the top of the article there. So we want to look at adding a new article into the latest section of the website. So it's nice and easy. It's just a matter of once you've already signed in, you can just click on add new post up the top there. You saw that. And hello, name. New one, that would be your title. Here you would add your text and you can cut and paste in there. And if you do that, just remember to go to the text option and then click that. And then when you cut and paste, say from Word or wherever it may be, it will strip out any formatting um, within the text file because you don't actually want to bring across any um, existing formatting from another file because it just adds gobbledygook to your own website. So it's always best to paste it as plain text and then in visual mode, come in there and then do your um, styling and things like that from here. So that was just a quick note of if you're cutting and pasting from there. I always recommend to keeping a copy of your your articles or your blog posts and on um, another you know, hard drive or on your desktop or something like that, just so you've got a backup of it. So it's just always good to have those things there as well. And so let's just do a few things now. with. We've just selected creating sorry new post, so we want them to be placed in the latest category, and that was the other option down here. Was set the feature image, and so what you want to do is for consistency is use a image size of 760 pixels wide, and it's probably good to if you actually up to you if you have a similar. I mean, once you select a height that you copy that height as well. So it's 760 pixels, say by 500 pixels high. It, like I said, just it's for consistency across the site. They, um, up to you if you wish to do that. So we're just going to say set feature image. And so we can see that's been added there. And we could either preview it or be happy with it. You know, if we you can just click publish and that will get added to the latest section on the website. So now we can just Go to visit site. I'm just going to click on latest, and we can see that that has been added there in at the top. So we can click on there. We can see that. Yep. Yeah. If we want to edit it, we just go back in there and edit it as we need to. That pretty much covers um, adding a new article um, into the latest section on the website. So yeah, if you've got any questions, please ask.